today I've got a really beautiful project that I want to share with you. I've been making beeswax wraps in my household since 2016 apparently, when I put out my first video on how to make beeswax wraps. The reason I started doing beeswax wraps is that we use too much Glad Wrap. In fact, I haven't had a roll of it in my house since then, since I started making these wraps. And the reason that I don't have it is, you know, it's only a small amount of plastic. Surely it's not really that bad for the environment. Well, if you think about it, if you times how many rolls you use in the year by however many people throughout the world that are using plastic wrap, then it's horrendous. And the reason that it's horrendous is when it goes into landfill, it releases the toxin dioxin, which is really bad and it poisons the, the groundwater poisons the land around and it's something that we can do without. There's a natural alternative. So when I did my first video back in 2016, it was a little bit dangerous. It involved carrying melted beeswax wraps, uh, beeswax in a tray from the oven to the bench to make the wrap. And then since then I've been doing workshops and I found a handy dandy way to do it in a much safer fashion. Mind you, it does involve repurposing an electric frying pan. I had an electric frying pan that had lost its Teflon coating and it, wasn't, it was dangerous to use for food. So we converted it into our beeswax wrap making pan. And because I do workshops, I can let it cool in the pan, transport it easily and store it easily. So if you want to dedicate a pan to it, you'll enjoy making beeswax wraps. With Mother's Day coming up too, you can make them as a prezi for your mum or your grandma. Handy things to have at home, definitely. Okay, so what are they? So basically they're cotton fabric coated in beeswax and some people actually use some resin, tree resin in there as well because that helps the wax wrap stick to itself. I've never bothered with that. I think they work just fine the way they are. What you do is when you've got something, some leftovers that you want covered with this wrap, you press it down, use the warmth of your hand to form it around the bowl just like I'm doing now. So form it around the bowl like that. And then you pop it in the fridge, just like that. And believe it or not, when it hits the fridge, everything solidifies and you can actually stack things on top of it. So isn't that amazing? So that's how you use the beeswax wrap. Let's get into making some now, shall we? So I've got some fabric that I think is really cute. It's cotton fabric, 100% cotton, that I've put through the washing machine and then I've ironed it and then I've cut 30 centimetre squares with the pinking shears because that pinking pinked edge will stop it from fraying. Once the wax is on it, it actually doesn't fray either, but it just helps in the getting it to and from the wax so that you don't end up with strings coming out. So I've got the cotton fabric and we're going to simply dip it in the wax. Prepared my surface with some newspaper as well because wax is difficult to get up off your bench if you tend to spill a little bit. So I've got these tongs, these little metal tongs, which you can tell have actually been used a number of times to make these wax wraps that kind of coated in it. And what we're going to do is just grab the tiniest end bit. Actually, I might do the other side. Grab the tiniest end bit and drag it through the wax. Starting this way, make sure the ends go in drag it through the wax and out the other side. Hold it up high so that it can drip away back into the frying pan and try and hold it as straight as you can as well. If you leave it down too low, it'll take a lot longer to dry. So I lift it up nice and high and let those drips just go. And once they, you see them slowing down, once they stop, the wrap is pretty much ready. All right, there you go, it's ready. So. Now I just pop it onto the newspaper, undo the little edge bits, they tend to stick a bit, and just let it sit for a while. It's impregnating the cotton at this point in time, so it looks a little bit uh, sort of pale at the moment, but once it gets inside the cotton, it will become, well here's one I prepared earlier, it will become as vibrant as that beautiful fabric that I showed you earlier. So this is one that I prepared earlier, it's ready to go. Another thing I love about these wax wraps is I put them in the third drawer down in the kitchen, which I'm sure you do if you use Glad Wrap or foil or whatever. 
and it gives off this beautiful beeswax smell every time I open the drawer. So it smells like honey every time I open the drawer, which is terrific. Now with this one before, it got a little bit of a bead of beeswax down the side. So if that happens, you can either pick it off with your fingernails or pop it on your ironing board between two pieces of greaseproof paper and give it a little bit of an iron and that will get rid of that sort of edge bit that happened there. I think because the beeswax kind of cooled a little bit quickly. This one's looking fantastic. It's still got a little way to go though, it's still a bit warm. But it's really easy to make. Shall we do another one just to get the idea? So we've got the material here. All cotton. Now why do we use all cotton? You probably worked out the answer to that question. But it's because this is a totally sustainable um, product. Oops, let go of it, didn't I? That was silly. Never mind. Um, totally sustainable product, which means that at the end of its lifespan as a beeswax wrap, you can actually compost it down. So you can put it in the worm farm, put it in your compost heap, and if it's cotton with beeswax on it, it's totally sustainable. So yeah, I, I really encourage you to have a go at making some beeswax wraps. Now let's talk about the wax. You can order it online from Australian Wholesale Oils. You can look up your local beekeeping association and find someone in your area that keeps bees because those people always have wax that they'd like to sell. And that's what I generally do. So once you've got your supplier, don't let them go because they're hard to come by. Oop, there we go. There's another one starting to dry. Usually buy it in a bit of a block like this from your beekeeper. Could come in one kilo lots or you know, sometimes they want to sell you 100 kilos at one time. I bought huge amounts over the years. There are other methods which involve grating the beeswax, but that's a really hard process to do if you've ever had to do it when you're making anything with melted beeswax. So this is by far the easiest method for making your beeswax wraps at home. Well, I hope that's been interesting for you. You've learned something and you've also now been encouraged to throw away, well, don't throw it away, if you've got some Glad Wrap, don't go and buy some new Glad Wrap. Please try not to buy Glad Wrap. We don't need it. We've got containers with lids. We've got our beeswax wraps. You can definitely live without it. And I hope that was entertaining and interesting for you. I'll talk to you next time on my next video. Bye for now.